and welcome to another edition of Ed's Model Madness. Today I'm going to be doing a real quick bench update for you. Talk about my cancer awareness build. I did start on it just a little bit. Um, glued a couple pieces together if, if that's a start. It's been very cold. Haven't had a chance to do any painting. I have to go outside to do that. And uh, with it being as cold as it is, I just... I, just have not had the uh, the opportunity to get outside and and to do any painting on it so like I said I'm gonna show you a couple of quick pieces on that but I'm gonna take this opportunity to show you one of my other models that I've built this is an a6e intruder, intruder, alert, intruder, alert, intruder, alert, intruder, alert. so 148 scale I'm gonna show you the details on it talk about uh, the model itself and uh, hopefully you enjoy the video Okay, so I told you that a uh, little bit of progress on the cancer awareness build, my 2016 Camaro SS. This is going to be done as a black concept. Uh, the whole car is pretty much going to be black. But anyway, so what I have done so far is I've actually glued a couple of the pieces for the engine together. Um, two engine halves, the oil pan, and I put the heads on uh, the heads and the valve covers on. So uh, I haven't done any painting yet, as you can see uh, along the back side of the transmission spline here uh, where the two halves go together and down here on the bottom as well. Going to have to do some sanding to kind of even out those pieces and get rid of that line because uh, it just it, it looks really bad. This is supposed to be a cast aluminum piece. Uh, on the car and uh, now the oil pan does hide the bottom of the engine where that that seam is at so that's kind of nice the way it all goes together but anyway um, like I said that is the start to my cancer awareness build so just so you guys do know that I am working on it uh, as I can now, been busy with other things, which I explained in the beginning of the video, so uh, don't hold your breath. This one's going to take a little bit of time. Okay, so if you guys remember, I told you that I was putting the wheels into a bath of Super Clean, and uh, it stripped the chrome right off of them. Uh, now, one thing I did notice about this was I did the wheels for this kit over here. This is my Camaro Snap Tight Concept. I did the wheels for that one at the same time that I did the wheels for this one. The Snap Tight is a Revell kit and the chrome on those wheels came off in about 30 minutes. The chrome on the AMT kit wheels, it took about two hours to get the chrome off of these. So I'm just thinking that that might kind of speak toward the quality and maybe the amount of chrome plating that they put on their parts. Um, not sure but I found that to be rather interesting so anyway that's what I got for the uh, cancer awareness update build still doing research and stuff trying to figure out uh, how I'm gonna make the headlights look realistic and uh, just little details about a Camaro that uh, I'm just not really aware of right now so working on it getting uh, pushing it forward and we'll keep you updated as I go in the meantime I want you to look at an intruder This is my 148 scale Revell A6E Intruder. I wanted to show you some of the details on this kit. Um, the slats, the flaps, the wing fold, the speed brakes. Uh, you can see some of the panel lines on the back of On the other wing, again, slaps, flaps, speed brakes, swing folds. You can see some of the air scoops that um, I actually drilled those out, opened them up. But the panel lines on the top of the wings, that is actually the first, this is the first plane that I tried to scribe the panel lines back in. 
and I used a wash to darken the lines up. Now the ones on the the back, um, you can see some of the ones that I scribed and then you can see some of the ones that are still just molded in that I didn't scribe. So it turned out pretty decent. Uh, can see some of the rivet work on the side of the plane, the vents. Now the big thing that I did with this aircraft, and I'm going to show you this, is I did the profiled intakes um, from DM Mold Model Works. And the reason why I did these was because the Ravel kit basically had these intakes. I'm going to take the canopy off before it falls off. It's, it's just going to sit in there. But the intakes were just sorry about that that they were just closed off as if they had intake covers on them hopefully you can see this so with the profiled intakes on there though it actually gives you an engine face uh, the the front of the compressor so it gives it a much more realistic look in my opinion and for a Revell kit, this actually had quite a bit of detail on it. Now you can see that I did a wash on, on the landing gear, kind of give it a little bit more realistic look, the wheels and the tires. Like I said, this is one of the first kits that I built that I actually took quite a bit of time and did a few extra things that I normally don't do. Like, uh, well, the speed brakes, for instance. Um, I drilled the holes in those. Uh, those are actually riveted shut on, on, on the real airplane because for the A6E, the speed brakes are out on the wingtips. That's this panel here. So the earlier model, and, and this is an upgraded aircraft, you can tell because of that right there. The early model A6s had the speed brakes on the fuselage those had been uh, deactivated and riveted shut so kind of gives you a, a look at um, the, the the airplane the airframe itself now I did build this in VA 75 markings and the reason why I did that was because the last intruder deployment was with VA-75. And you can see that's the decal kit that I used. And that's from Fighter Town decals. So, but VA-75 was in my air wing, the air wing that I was attached to. And uh, so, I kind of feel like there's a little bit of a personal attachment or whatever. So, I like said the exhaust didn't leave. Uh, well, the exhaust isn't great, but I mean it gives a better impression than just having them closed off. Uh, now I did put two laser guided bombs on there. It, it can actually um, designate a, a target using this tram pod right here in front of the landing gear. Um, and I also got uh, two high-speed anti-radiation missiles or harm missiles and they would fly these airplanes uh, along with the EA-6Bs which would uh, identify a radar site and then while the uh, the EA-6B was identifying that radar site the A-6s would sneak in and uh, they'd fire these harm anti high-speed anti-radiation missiles and knock out the enemy radars so take a look in the cockpit real quick hopefully you can see some of this um, there is no photo etch in there now there are a few decals on the instrument panel but the majority of this is hand painted the seats these are the seats that came with the kit um, very very well detailed I mean this was a great cockpit it's got a lot of detail in it 
and, and for Revell, which usually uh, the Revell kits are good, but they're they're not great, at least not in the past. But uh, now I said Revell. This is Revell monogram, but this one has just some amazing details. Like I said, the shortcomings to this was the intakes, and so I did the uh, the DM model works uh, open intakes on it. So you can see that uh, the plane's got a little bit of a gloss on the bottom where I failed to get the dull coat around the aircraft completely when I did the dull coat on it. Um, but this is a tactical gray paint. Um, it did not shine. It's not supposed to shine. The only thing that would have shined was uh, this blue back here on the top of the tail. But uh, anyway, I got to say that all in all, this, this model turned out really well. Um, there was a, uh, a line across the nose here where you put the two halves together and the same thing across the back of the airplane, which that's why I had to do some of the scribe lines on here, rescribe some of those panels because I had to sand where the two halves of the fuselage came together. You know, it would have been really nice had this nose been all one piece, um, and you wouldn't have to do that, but makes a little bit of extra work uh, it still turned out pretty decent so I'm happy with it and hopefully you've enjoyed taking a look at my 148 scale A6E intruder from VA75 and like I said this is a Revell kit so Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button so that you know when I'm doing a new video and leave me a comment. Tell me what you wanna see, tell me what you like about the video or I don't know, inflate my ego, tell me how good I am. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate each and every one of you guys and I hope that y'all have a really, really great day. God bless, bye.